In my previous videos about Java Lambda expressions, I have left out one topic which I will um, talk about in this video, and that is uh, variable capture from within a Lambda expression. As mentioned in my earlier videos, Lambda expressions are stateless, which means they do not have any state themselves. And in other words, that means that they cannot have any member variables like an anonymous implementation of an interface can or, or like a regular class can. So um, in order to access any state outside uh, or any state at all um, from within a Lambda expression, you need to reference a variable that is declared outside of the Lambda expression. And that is what I will uh, show you how to do in this video. In order to illustrate how va variable capture works in Lambda expressions, let me start by implementing a uh, simple Lambda expression. And I will be implementing this simple interface here called my interface. So my interface. Here you go. Here's a simple Lambda expression implementing the my interface interface. As you can see, there are no um, member variables in this Lambda. But if I declare a variable out here, then you will see that it can be accessed from within the um, from within the Lambda. I look at this, I can, instead of just printing out the text that is given as parameter to the Lambda, I can um, concatenate the text that is given as parameter with the text which is declared of here. The only way this is possible is if this variable out here is effectively final. That means that it does not change its value after it has been set the first time. Now look what happens here. If I try to change the text, the value of uh, the variable down here, look at that. Now the compiler complains up here that the variable used in the Lambda expression should be final or effectively final. So that is the rule. You cannot change the value of the variable. You do not have to declare it final, but it has to be effectively final. It can be a good idea to declare it final because this is more clear that you should not change it because you are using it within a Lambda expression. The rule about effectively final uh, variables only counts for uh, local variables inside declared inside a function or inside a method. It does not count for uh, member variables in the same class, uh, nor does it count for static variables. And I can give you an example here. Um, This will be a static string variable. Like that. And then look at this. I can actually reference this from within the, um, the Lambda expression. And look at this. I'm actually allowed. I'm actually allowed to change the value of the static variable after the um, after it has been referenced from the within the um, the lambda expression. And in case I call here the lambda expression, then you can see then we can see what value will be printed, whether it's the first on the updated value and you can see that it's actually the updated value that is getting printed. So even though the static variable starts with this value up here and uh, has that value at the time the uh, Lambda expression is, is declared or created, because the static variable changes its value before the uh, Lambda expression is called, th then the it is the changed value that is uh, print it out. Let's try here one more time to print it out before we change the value and see what happens. And now you can see it prints the hey a, a third text, which is the first value. It 
it is that is what it prints out here and after the value is changed it prints out the new value now let me show you how variable capture works with um, a member variable first I will move all this code to a an instance method because only from within an instance method will we be um, able to reference an instance variable a member variable isn't uh, by member variable I mean an instance variable so first of all I move all this code inside uh, an instance method then I create uh, an instance variable here called for text and now you see in here that I instead of referencing you can see it's still possible to reference the static um, variable third text here but I will just replace it with a, a reference to fourth text now you can see this is perfectly possible and uh, we will try the same again here first call the lambda with a value change the value of this fourth text which is referenced here and then print it out again like call the lambda again and see what it prints out and now obviously I would have to create a down here for this to work a lambda examples too like that and then call the oh, seems IntelliJ got a little bit too intelligent there and then we see what happens right And as you can see, just like we expected, first the lambda prints the first value of the uh, member variable here that it has from the beginning, and then that's done when we call print it here, and then down here in we change the value to blah blah blah, and then we call print it again, and then you can see it changes or it, it prints out the the changed value. So to sum it up. Uh, Java Lambda expression can reference uh, variables declared outside of the Lambda expressions uh, and if it references a local variable the local variable has to be effectively final or actually final if it uh, references a, um, a member variable as is, it's doing in this case here uh, it doesn't the member variable does not have to be final and it can also see changes to the variable and the same is true for static variables they can be referenced from within um, a, a lambda and the value can also uh, change and the lambda will detect or see any changes to the um, to the static variable